Hello, friends. I'm glad to be with you in prayer today. Today, I'm going to offer a prayer about religion. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, as we gather in prayer this morning, we acknowledge that you are a just God and that we are called upon to work towards justice for all in the world. Today, Lord, we pray, pray about our religion, the system of beliefs that we have in you and how those beliefs shape our lives. We pray not only for our religion, but also for the religions of others. We know that we have been taught that we should love one another. That is at the center of all that we believe. It is also at the center of what many of other others believe. Our religion also assures us that you love us all the time, even when we don't deserve it. Lord, as we continue in prayer, we pray that we can love one another as you have loved us. We know you are with us. We hear and see and feel you as the Holy Spirit in so many different ways in our lives. Touch our lives in the ways we need to be touched this day. Help us to understand what it means to be religious in your eyes. Help us to know that our religion is what we believe and how we should act in the world. These things we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our reading for today is from the book of James, from the first chapter, verses 23 through 27. Anyone who listens to the world... The, Sorry, who listens to the word, but does not do what it says, is like a man who looks at his face in a mirror, and then after looking at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But the man who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom, and continues to do this, not forgetting what he has heard, but doing it, he will be blessed in what he does. If anyone considers himself religious, and yet does not keep a tight rein on his tongue, he deceives himself, and his religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress, and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed and safe day.